Unfortunately, photography isn't just all about capturing epic photos. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the best and quickest way to back up your photography to an external hard drive. Hello everybody, my name is Austin James Jackson. I'm a professional landscape photographer based here in Southern Utah. And in today's video, I'm excited to show you guys this really cool little piece of free software that you can use that's gonna help you to back up your photos quickly and easily. Now I know that backing up your photos is not the most fun or exciting thing, but hopefully this little piece of software will help you guys to take out some of the excruciating time waiting that you are probably doing if you are just completely deleting a drive and re-backing it up from scratch. This is a much faster and much better way. This is the software that I use in order to back up my hard drives. And like I mentioned before, it is free on Mac and PC. There's really no reason why you wouldn't want to use it. I'm going to show you guys how I go about backing up my photos as well as how to use this little piece of software to rather than back up your photos or recopy them all to just update the things that have been changed. It's a really cool piece of software. Let's go ahead and jump right in there guys. Here we go. So it doesn't really matter what photo editing app you use for editing, um, you're gonna back up pretty much the same process. In this example, I'm gonna show you how I do it from Lightroom because that's the software that I use and that's the software I know that most of you guys use as well. So before I back up my catalog here, I wanna make sure to delete any photos that I don't want. So on my catalog, when there's a photo I don't want, I actually just go through and I put an X on it, which flags it as rejected. And then if I just hit delete when I'm in my collections here, it deletes it from the collection, but not from the catalog. Uh, so I want to make sure to remove those from the catalog so that I can save some space because I don't need all of these photos I'm not going to use on my catalog. You can see if you go to all photographs here, it's going to show all of my photographs, including the ones that I've rejected by putting an X on. So to delete all the ones with an X on them, I'm going to go to library. I'm going to enable filters and then I'm going to go down to enable by flag and do rejected photos only. This will open up all of the photos that I have rejected right here. I can simply command A on Mac or control A on a PC to select everything. I can hit delete. Now it will give me the option to remove these photos from Lightroom or delete them from the disk. You wanna make sure you delete them from the disk. If I just remove them from Lightroom, they'll still be on my hard drive. They'll still be taking up space and they will still be backed up, which I don't want. I just wanna get rid of these photos. I never wanna see them again. Adios. So I'm going to hit delete from disk. That's going to totally get rid of those photos from both the catalog and my disk here. Once I've done that now, I can hit command L to disable uh, filters again. And now I'm back here. So you want to make sure before you do this backup that everything you have lies at the same place. So if it doesn't, you might need to do some organizing of your Lightroom or of your drive. But when you pull up your drive, which I have right here, this is my portable hard drive. You can see just like that. I've got two folders. I have a YouTube folder where I just have a template for the YouTube videos that I make, just like this one. And then I have Lightroom, which is right here. So I click Lightroom. Within Lightroom, I have all of this stuff, which essentially this is the Lightroom catalog. And the rest of these are all just little files that Lightroom uses to help it run. These are things you don't really want to touch or mess with, just leave them as is. Um, I want to have this in the first folder under Lightroom. And then I have Landscape, I have Raw, and I have all of these years. Now these are automatically made when I import my photos. Hopefully you're importing your photos the right way so that this is being made correctly. Um, but if not, you definitely need to start because it's nice to have the raw folder here with all the years in it. So all my photos lie within here. You can see when I click on a date, I've got some photos in there. So each of these years has a bunch of different photos in it. All of my photos and my Lightroom catalog is right here on this drive, which is really ideal because if I eject this drive, I can use it on my uh, desktop or my laptop computer rather, rather than my desktop. Right now I'm on the desktop, but sometimes I like to use the laptop if I'm out traveling or I'm not at home. So it's nice to be able to take that drive out. Once that's done, you need to make sure that your photo backup drive is plugged in, uh, or that's what I call mine is photo backup drive. You can see when I click on photo backup drive, I still have these same two folders, um, but rather than being updated recently, like you see here, they were updated uh, earlier in March, about a month ago. Uh, because I haven't backed up since then, that was the last time I back up. I try and back things up about once a month and I haven't changed the file structure, but you can see like when I go into Lightroom and I go to Landscape and I go to Raw, I go to 2023, it only has photos up to February 25th. Whereas on my regular drive, when I go in here, um, it has photos that go to 
past February 25th. So these photos are not backed up on my drive. They live in one place and one place only. I want to back them up just in case anything happens to my drive so that I always have a copy. In addition to that, all those photos I just deleted are probably on this photo backup drive, taking up space that they don't need to be. So by deleting them off of the regular drive, once I sync them together, it's going to get rid of them on the photo backup drive. Now this is where you're gonna see the big time savings. So a lot of photographers would just go through on their photo backup drive, they would format the drive or they would delete everything and they would drag and drop everything from the portable hard drive over uh, or whatever drive your main drive is. And it's going to take so freaking long. It is literally gonna take probably at least a day or two to copy over. And I know like no one wants to have their computer out of commission running, doing something like a backup for multiple days at a time. Obviously the time is gonna depend on how much you're backing up as well as the speed of your computer, as well as what kind of drives you're using, whether the USB-C, USB-3, USB-2, whatever they are, uh, that's gonna change the time a lot. But I'm gonna show you guys the much, much quicker and easier way on this software, which is called Free File Sync. I'm gonna open that up right here. Now. Free File Sync is a free software. It's for Mac or PC. Before I show you guys, I just want to mention this is not sponsored at all. I honestly don't know anyone or anything about anybody that makes this software. I simply just like using it because it's the best way to back up your photos. I found it so long ago and like I said, I don't get any money or if it's not an affiliate link, I'm just gonna post a link to their website. You can download it or you don't have to if you don't like this. I really don't care because I'm not gonna make any money from it. But anyways, let's get to the point here. So. We've got, um, what we're gonna do is back up our drive. Now, what is special about this software is it allows us to just update the drive rather than back it up. So when I go and bring new things over to the drive, it will only copy the new things. Anything that's unchanged, it won't touch. Um, and in addition to this, it's going to check to find things that are deleted and it's going to remove those deleted things from that backup drive. Long story short, this is just going to make things a lot faster. I only have a month's worth of changes, which for me is not a lot of photos I'm taking in one month's time, not a lot of deletes that I'm making and not a lot of new edits I'm making. So what you're going to do is load into this free file sync. I'm using version 11.29. This, these versions are updated quite frequently. So you may be on a newer version, but hopefully the software will stay very similar in how it is used. What you're going to do is you're going to select your drive. So you're going to hit browse. The left side is going to be uh, the drive that you always use, your, your normal drive. So you're going to go down and I'm going to select my portable hard drive. This is the drive that I always use. You can see it has these additional folders. These are folders that are normally hidden uh, when you look at them like on a Mac or PC, but they're showing here. That's totally fine. I'm not going to delete any of them. Just leave them as is. I'm going to hit open. Then you're going to go to the right side. You're going to click browse and you're going to do the same thing. Find whatever that drive is that you want to back it up to. I call mine photo backup drive. The reason why I call it photo backup drive is because I only back up my photos to this drive. I have a different drive to back up YouTube and video content and course content and other stuff like that. So this is just my photo backup drive. Call it whatever you want. I'm going to click open. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click compare file time and size. You're going to hit ignore all when that comes up right there, just because we want to ignore those warnings that it gives us. Those are just warning things that they can't get into those hidden folders, which is totally fine. Now this is going to pop up and there's so much going on on the screen. You don't need to worry about any of this. Essentially all that it's doing is it's saying, Hey, these are all the things that have changed and it's telling you. So if you want to scroll down and look at every single one, you can, but you definitely don't need to. Now you want to click this right here. The first time you use it, you'll only have to do this the first time you use it and then you won't have to do it again. So what you want to do here is select mirror. Mirror creates a mirror backup of the left folder by adapting the right folder to match. This is what you want to do because this essentially is going to take everything that's in your left side folder and match it with everything that's on the right side folder. You're going to hit OK. Now, before you start this, it's really important that you make sure this is set up correctly because if it's not set up correctly, you may be taking things off of your drive. You wanna make sure that all three of these boxes right here that are pointed to the left are at zero because we don't want to touch or affect anything in my main drive. We want all of the arrows to be going right because that indicates that there's new things being added to the right as well as things being taken away from the drive on the right, but nothing's being taken from the left. You can see that we've got 872 files that'll be updated, 66 new files, and 1,562 files that will be deleted. Now, don't be concerned if you're like, there's no way I don't have that many photo files on the right side. This includes things like previews and other little tiny files like that, so don't worry too much about that. 
Now, once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and hit synchronize. Uh, make sure again, it's on mirror. Make sure nothing is going to the left. Everything should be on the right side. This 29.1 gigabytes tells me that is the amount of change that's going to happen. You're going to press start and it is going to take a little bit of time. Now, the time is going to pop up is really long at first, but if I sit here and talk for like 30 more seconds or maybe five more seconds, you can see the time is going down. So it's going to be about 12 to 13 minutes for me to do 30 gigs. Of course, that depends on the size of my computer. That is a lot, lot, lot better than the original, which my drive probably has about one and a half terabytes of information on it. That literally, like I said, would take me days to copy over. So by using this, I can do it in 10 minutes or less, which is really nice. It makes backing up your photos all the much more easier. And the other benefit is that if I close this app once I'm done, the same settings will load back in every single time. All I have to do is hit compare file time and size. It's gonna compare my portable hard drive to my photo backup drive, and it's going to tell me what needs to change. I can hit synchronize mirror. I don't have to go through all those other settings that I showed you guys how to set up. So this is by far the best way to back up your photos because it updates rather than just uh, re-uploading every single thing, which would take hours. It's so much faster, it's so easy. To use this, like I said, I'll post a link down below where you can download this free file sync app. Alrighty guys, well that is a wrap. That's the software that I really love using and I think you guys will really like it as well. Link is down below where you can pick up that software and use it to help you in order to back up your photos. If you have a better way to back up your photos or you know of another software that does something similar, let me know down below in the comments. I would love to hear about it. Otherwise, I would just love to hear what you guys are up to and if you're really enjoying the videos, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for checking out this week's video. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.